Pink Whip. Welcome, my crochet friends. Welcome to Pink Whip. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this cute strawberry bag. <laughs> Come with me. Which supplies will you, we will need? I'm going to use yarn and colors, must have. This color is 996 Girly Pinky. And this is 100% mercerized cotton. I'm going to be using the pink and the light green. We also need a crochet hook, 2.5 millimeters. I think in US is number four. Beads <laughs> to have some fun. But remember, we need beads that have um, big holes so we can pass the, this yarn through, okay? Actually, it's the green. We need to pass the green yarn through the beads, like, like this. Scissors. Don't mind my huge scissors. I think I need to buy a small and cute one just to make videos. But this is the one I normally use when I crochet. <laughs> I just like it because I can cut anything with it. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and you also, we also need a tapestry needle. So if you make crochet, you're starting to make crochet and you want to be an amigurumi maker, you need a tapestry needle. This is very important. I use this in every project. We also need a stitch marker, just one is enough. So a stitch marker is also something really necessary when we make a migurumi. And I like these ones that we can close and open easily and it doesn't get out of the, the place. And that's it, let's make it. All right, let's start. Let's make a magic ring. Six single crochet inside the magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six. Close the magic ring. Make one single crochet on the first single crochet we made in the first round. So now this one is going to be the first stitch of the second round and we are going to add a stitch marker so we know which one is the first stitch of the round. So the second round is increased six times. So I already made one single crochet here. I'm going to make one more. So I have increased two single crochet inside the same stitch. Next stitch, I will make two again, so increase. Next stitch, make two, one, two. Next stitch, one, two, one, two, one, two. So we should have 12 single crochet. So now I'm going to make a single crochet in the first single crochet of the second round and I'm going to take it out the stitch marker and put in in the next round. So, so what I do, I take it out from the previous first stitch of the round and I put in the next first stitch of the round. So the round three is single crochet in all stitches to have 12 single crochet total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. I'm counting here, but if you're using the stitch marker, you normally don't, don't need to count. But I've been just <laughs> doing, uh, I'm making sure I 
I get it correct. So now the round four is one single crochet and one increase six times. So I already made one single crochet. So the next one is increase one, two, and I'm going to make this six times. So I already made one, so I need to make more five, five more. So one, increase two, right? So now one, increase three, oops. One, increase four, one, increase five, one, increase six. And I make one single crochet where I have the stitch marker, take out the stitch marker and I put in the next, in the next stitch on top. So right now I like to hide this yarn. So I'm going to use the tapestry needle. Um, so we can make weave the yarn end. And I like to pass through some stitches inside the stitches from the wrong side. So you just pass through some stitches just to make sure this is not going to unravel. And another trick is if I went to one side and then I come back to where I came from, this way the yarn will be even more secure here and it's not going to unravel. Don't mind my huge scissors. <laughs> All right, so if you want to count, you stopped crocheting for some reason and you come back to your project and you need to count. I always count before the stitch marker. One, two, three, four. So I have four rounds. So the next one is the fifth. So round five, single crochet in all stitches, we are going to have 18 single crochet. So I already made one, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. If you need to count how many stitches you have just to make sure you made the correct amount, you start counting from the one with the stitch marker, right? And I count from the top where you see the shape that look like a chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So we are correct. So we make now the first single crochet of the round six. And round six, six is two single crochet and increase six times. So I already made one, next stitch I make one more. So we have one, two, and the next is increase. So we're going to make this six times. One, two, increase. One, two, increase. One, two, increase, one, two, increase, one, two, increase. So now round 
seven single crochet in all the stitches so I just need to single crochet in all I don't even need to count because I have the stitch marker on the first single crochet of the round so I know when I arrive there I have my round complete okay Please tag me when you make your strawberry, when you post on social media your pictures, so I can see your creations. I love that. Just need to tag Pink Whip. Pink in Instagram is pink dot whip. All right. So round eight, three, and increase six times. So one, two, three. Increase. One, two, three, increase. So I finished round eight. So now round nine is single crochet in all these stitches. And we're going to have 30 stitches, 30 single crochet in the end. So. Let me know how long does it take for you to make this strawberry bag. I'm not the fastest crocheter. <laughs> I crochet a little bit slower. So let me see. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So I'm around nine now. So I now I start to do round ten. That is four single crochet and increase six times. So I already made one, so two, three and increase one two three four and increase one two three four and increase one two three, four, increase, one, two, three, four, increase, one, two, three, four, increase so now from round 11 to round 17 we are going to make just single crochet around so it'll be 36 single crochet and we're going to make seven rounds i will come back when i have when i finish the round eight All right, so round 18 is four single crochet and decrease six times. So one, two, three, four. So I use, uh, for decrease, I use uh, invisible decrease. So how is the invisible decrease? I pass the hook from the front loop of the next stitch and front loop of the next i grab the yarn and then i make the single crochet so the two stitches below i made one single crochet just using the front loops 
So we call these invisible decrees. Okay, next stitch. One, two, three, four. Let's decrease. Front loop, front loop, grab the yarn, single crochet. All right, so let's continue. One, two, three, four, and decrease. One, two, three, four, decrease. One, two, three, four, decrease. One, two, three, four, and decrease. So now we are going to change to green yarn to make the calyx of the strawberry, this part here. How do I change colors? So I'm going to take it out of my stitch marker. I don't need any more. I'm going to come back to the, this last stitch a little bit. So instead of finishing the single crochet, I'm going just to leave the two loops in the hook and I grab the green yarn. Grab the green yarn. I will leave a tail here and I'll finish that last single crochet with the green. So round 19, slip stitch in next stitch. So next stitch, we are going to slip stitch. Two chains, one double crochet at the same stitch. And now I'm going to cut the pink yarn and I'm going to make just one knot just to hold the yarn here and now we are going to make one double crochet in each stitch of the round 18 and we are going to okay one let's go so now it's double crochet you need to remember until the end Okay, so we did, we made the, the last double crochet of the round and then we, we slip stitch into the first double crochet. Slip stitch. Now round 20, one chain and one single crochet at the same stitch. One single crochet at the same stitch and one single crochet in each stitch of the round 19. Oops. So let's make single crochet until the end. We made the last single crochet of the stitch and now we're going to slip stitch in the first single crochet of the round and we are going to cut the yarn and later on later on you can weave the yarn ends or I can show you right now let's weave the yarn ends how do I do it I always do from the wrong side, so from the inside where no one is going to see. With my tapestry needle, I pass, I pass the yarn through and then I pass the yarn 
through some stitches to hide the yarn like this. It's good if you can if you went to one direction, if you can come back from the direction you came from, this will make the yarn e even more stronger. But right now, I, I can't do it. Okay, so let me do like this. I go and be sure not to show the needle at the correct side of the right side okay it's just from inside here okay now you come back and if you pass like three times so this you never unravel <laughs> all right so you can do this with the greens as well also um I hide the yarn in their correct color, so I hide the pink on inside the pink, and now I'm going to hide the green inside the green, so it doesn't appear, so it's going to be hidden. I just need to pass through some stages. Mm -hmm. I always remember to not let the yarn show off into right side in the correct size um, one more here and now this one the last one so since i hide a yarn here now I'm going to go to the other side so this area is not so thick because of my yarn coming from inside the stitches okay so let's pass through and coming back Now the body of the strawberry is ready and we need to make the string. To make this string we are going to leave a long tail that we are going to put to the bead later on and we are going to make chain 94. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, we have ninety-four now. We're going to slip stitch in the second chain from hook. So hook is here, right? First and second. So in the second we are going to slip stitch. Now we slip stitch in the next two chains. So one, two. So this is the, the first um, stand and we need to make two more. So now we're going to chain four, one, two, three, four. Slip stitch in second chain from hook. Slip stitch in next two chains. And slip stitch into the base of the first stain. So it's like here. It's the last single crochet we made in the first stain. So now we make this process again. One, two, three, four chains. Slip stitch in second chain. Slip stitch in one, two chains, and slip stitch inside the first stain. So we have this little kind of triangle <laughs> shape. 
and you're going to cut the yarn and you can weave in the end. So next process, we are going to pass, we're going to assemble, we're going to pass the string through the double crochet. So it's double crochet is in the round 19. And I like to start from the first single crochet of the of the the round um, and then I so this is the first and then I go to the the last one actually I like to start from the last double crochet of the round this part the, the this beginning of the chains of the string we're going to bend the yarn tail we left and we're going to pass through below single crochet. Can you see? So now we're going to jump one double crochet. So the next one you're going to pass our hook below and pull this string again. Jump one, the next one pass the yarn. The, the hook below and you pull the string. So we are going to do this until the end. Let's do it. You can pass through some stitches before you pull. like this. So now you measure both to be the same so you can pull a little bit. This one, I stretch this. You have this string like this. You can add a bead in the end here. Let me see which one, maybe the orange. Yeah, oh, the purple. Let me see which one is. Purple, the orange, purple. Okay. So I pass the yarn through the bead until I put the bead into the chains, and then I need to make some knots here so the bead is not going to fall. I normally make too, but it depends of um, how wide is the hole in your beads. If you can pass through the knot, so you, you need to come back and continue making knots one on top of the other. Okay. Like this, until it's big enough that the beads doesn't pass through. I'm going to make one more just to be sure. like this, right? So now I can cut the yarn here. 
this yarn we are going to weave weave the this yarn end we are going to weave okay so I always go to the wrong side so this is the right side this is the wrong side so this is the side we crochet facing the side it faces when we crochet and this is the back so I always do this procedure at the back so let's okay pass through some stitches I come back in my same direction and then I Now it's strawberry is ready. 